Buenos dias, mis amigos. Third and final video for the day. Alright, so uh, TVIV1 replied to a comment I made on a video. And he says, This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. I do not my will, but the will of the Father who sent me. Why do you call me good? None are good, but my Father in heaven explain those. Alright, so let's start here by explaining that. Uh, let's, let's find the verse here. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. For he received from God the Father honor and glory when there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And this voice which came from heaven we heard when we were with him in the holy mount okay so it's real really simple okay so I'm gonna put this in a, a simple terms okay so that anybody ought to be able to believe this and understand this okay what what is required to be an expert on the Bible, to understand the Bible, is to believe that these are the words from God. Okay? So just as we read here, this voice which came from heaven we heard. Just as they heard the voice and the words proceeding from the voice, so also are the words that we read in the Bible are from God. All right, just as we read in Exodus 31, the tables of stone that was given to Moses was given to Moses by God, written with the finger of God. So also is the Bible from God. Now, if you believe that, then the veil is taken away from your heart, and now you can understand the Word of God. So, when Jesus came in the flesh, he was God manifest in the flesh. Alright, so Jesus is God Almighty okay God was manifest in the flesh justified in the spirit seen of angels preached unto the Gentiles believed on in the world received up into glory God was manifest in the flesh so Jesus has led the way for us right, he has came into this flesh that we're in and he has laid down his life and brought it back up and ascended to heaven and we're gonna follow him we that are born of God we will follow him just as Jesus says I am the way the truth and the life okay Ooh, interesting okay so Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. All right, Jesus is God manifest in the flesh. So he leads the way for us out of this wicked world where there's death and sin and sorrow and pain. Leads us out of this wicked world into a, the promised land. Okay, The promised world, the promised life of eternal life. Just as Moses led his people out of the bondage and wickedness of Egypt, 
so also does Jesus lead us out of this wicked world. Okay? So, the Son is God. The Son is God. So make no mistake about it. Jesus is God Almighty. Okay. Revelation 1. Jesus says, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord. There's only one God. It's Jesus. He's the only one. Saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. All right. And of course, um, let's just do it this way. Isaiah 9, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. The Prince of Peace, okay? You think about that. Jesus is the prince of peace in John chapter 14 Jesus says peace I leave with you my peace I give unto you not as the world gives give I unto you let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid All right, so the Jesus or I'm sorry the the peace that Jesus gives us it's not of the world it's an inner peace. It's not an outer peace. It's an inner peace. Remember, he says, Think not that I have come to bring peace on earth. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. So there's going to be a division between the saved and the unsaved, the wheat and the tares, right? So the peace that Jesus brings is not in the world but is in the heart okay now uh, I do not my will but the will of the Father who sent me okay so let's go back to John and I, I think John is a great book to have complete understanding of all the mysteries of God. All right. So let's go to John 15. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abides in me and I in him, the same brings forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. Alright, so when we are born of God, God abides in us, and we abide in God. Now, we cannot do nothing without God. So it's not our will, but the will of God. Okay. The will of the Spirit of God. Why do you call me good? None are good but my Father in heaven. Okay, so why callest thou me good? Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, and that is God. All right, Matthew 19, and he saith unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. All right, so... Um, one thing I want to point, I got to point out, because it seems like uh, every time I hear somebody talk about this, they miss it. They miss it. And that is that Jesus does not correct this guy and say, I'm not God. I don't, I'm not good. Don't be calling me good. No, he doesn't say that. It says, and Behold, one came and said, and uh, the young man, okay. So he says, Why, or Jesus says, Why callest thou me good? 
There's none good but one. That is God. And he's not saying don't call me good. He's saying don't call me God. He's not saying. He's not correcting him. He's just asking him. Why do you call me good? There's only one good and that's God. Well, fact of the matter is Jesus is God. And Jesus was God manifest in the flesh. He was God in the flesh. So he knew no sin. Knew no sin. And he became sin for us. That we might have life through him. Right? For he has made for he has made him to be sin for us who knew no sin. That we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Right? So Jesus is God. Make no mistake about it. There's only one God, and it's Jesus. And I think that's important to understand. So, hopefully, that, that that's as simple as it gets. There's no reason at all to make this complicated. Right? And so now that Jesus has done the works for us, now are we the sons of God. In John chapter 1, but as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Alright, so there's another subject that I would like to talk about in the future. And that is the fact that we will be equal with God in the regeneration. Okay, and so consider this. In the regeneration, we will not die. We have eternal life. We will not have sin of any kind, no wickedness, no evilness, no errors. We will be perfect in every possible way. Think about this. Think about this. I'm going to close on this one. Alright. 2 Timothy 3. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Now what's Jesus say? Oops. Now what's Jesus tell us? No, I'm going to have to do it this way. Alright. Right there. Matthew 5. Be ye therefore perfect even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. He's telling us to be perfect. Now, we can't have that. We can't be completely perfect until the regeneration occurs. When we take off this mortal body and put on immortality. Right, and that happens when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven. So when this corruptible shall put on incorruption and this mortal shall put on immortality then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written death is swallowed up in victory. Alright so maybe I talked too much about it already but uh, just to give you some insight to make things real easy and simple that Jesus is God in the flesh he has led the way or I'm sorry Jesus was God in the flesh right because he laid he entered this body that we're in and he laid down his life and then he brought it back up from the dead 
and ascended to heaven and promised to return for us that believe in him. Okay, so all of us that are born of the Spirit of God will be raised up at the last day. It's real simple. All right, when we're raised up, then will we put on immortality. We'll be completely, totally, 100% perfect. All right, Jesus has led the way for us. Okay. Be ye therefore perfect 